nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. So this is my entrance essay for graduate school. Every time someone talks about neoliberalism, I'm like, do you want to read my paper about neoliberalism? And they kind of nod. <laughs> and so, and I'm kind of like moving too fast for you to see it, but whatever. This essay and this video and probably this thing that I'm going to think about for the rest of my wretched life is... You know, I was a homeless case manager, and it felt like I was sitting on my hands all the time. That I was going around in circles. That I was telling my clients to go around in circles. Nothing was getting done, and people <laughs> were suffering every day. I was so confused. And then I started thinking, studying more, and also I was been kind of a fucking socialist. But this article, which... I will put the title and the um, original title because I believe it's n this original is not in English. This is a translation. But the neoliberal ideology is contradiction, the consequences and challenges for social work. How can you have social work, social welfare, if that's in a neoliberal society? That's not your number one concern. Your number one concern is to make things private, private size, save money, make profit. It's like a, you know, something that you find sacred that you don't think that should just become for profit. So why should human rights be for profit? And now that I've introduced you, well, uh, Regan, the mommy introduced you first. Let me show you more about neoliberalism. In the analysis of the economic processes with, within the social work profession since the 1990s, too little attention has been paid to the fact that the focus of efforts is not the well-being of the client or an improvement in the quality of the social work, but rather the preservation of resources. The organization of social work is kind of a Trojan horse. You know, Reagan just inserted in there, you want more social services? Make it neoliberal, make it private. So it's all about the bottom line. The bottom line should be if you run some, you know, business, you're an executive, some gross job like that, and you wouldn't want jobs like human rights to be about the bottom line. How much money have you saved on human rights this year? And sort of the same with social work, but it's what neoliberalism forces us to do. It's not whether your welfare increased physically, psychologically, uh, materially, no. It's how much money did we save and we can pocket. And that's not how social work, health, food, shelter should work. Since the fall of the Iron Curtain and against the background of dominant neoliberal ideology, the market has increasingly become the organizational principle for government and societies. In this context, even social work has been economized and subjected to the logic of market and profit. Remember, our friend Reagan was like, scariest words, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. There's only three scary words, is I'm Ronald Reagan. But at any moment, it was demonized, 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 privatized, 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 for profit, you know? Um, and I bet Reagan never fucking visited anyone. He never did any field work. And since Reagan's has gotten worse and worse and worse, I'm gonna probably in my next video and one of my favorite, and if I ever make like, a playlist of non-profit videos for y'all, um, I'm going to do one about the 1996 <laughs> welfare reform, which made things go to fucking shit. And sometimes, you know, like, the so cities will, you know, instead of them 
hiring their own social workers. They contract them out to nonprofits. You know why? It's cheaper. You get paid ten dollar more the hour if you work for the city. A lot of nonprofits have no unions. It's hard to unionize. A lot of nonprofits are competing with each other. And a lot of it has to do with grants. Grants. People just don't get money, you know, to provide services. They but specifically have to the nitty gritty just write grants. And the way this money is used can only be used a certain way. It's how people can control the rich. The Bill and Gates Foundation, they can donate money. But the social services that come from it, you don't get to choose. They do. That's neoliberalism and philanthropy. It wouldn't it be better just to tax them and then use that money without any of the limitations they impose, which could be political. Yes, Bill Gates, he believes in fuel. He has not divest from fuel. And I don't have any problems with GMOs, but Monsanto is a piece of shit company, and he has stock in Monsanto. Just think about it. Jeff Bezos doesn't have to be the only billionaire you hate. All of Seattle has a bunch of billionaires you can hate. And I hope you know this is not a fuck all nonprofits or you know that really small two-person profit nonprofit that's doing their best fighting for someone out there. People who work in nonprofits, people who do this, they're not bad people. It's a system. And their hands are tied to this. Think about it. This this grants are competitive. So agencies instead of working together and in cooperation, um, you know, to have a connected response regarding homeless people or mental health, they don't. They keep information to each other. You know, people always say, why isn't this person at a shelter? And I say, you know how hard it is to walk up any night and try to get a shelter? I can be like, can he get in this shelter? Sorry, only agency X has access to this shelter. <laughs> only certain agencies have access to either the best shelters, the only shelters, all because of grant money, all because of contracting out. All of this bloats the system. It's more and more and more politics. If maybe the government <laughs> hire their own social workers, and maybe if they got paid better, and not only that, you know, with contracting out all the information, all those people, whatever happens, maybe you can get a copy of the contract. But the, the information is not as public as information with the state are. You should have more clarity with the state. So by using nonprofits, they're obfuscating all sort of things. And you know, all these nonprofits have this burden. Like, look at all of the things they have to fill out. Look at all of this paperwork. Look at it. It's ridiculous. And here, these are the fathers of the Chicago School, the lords and gods of neoliberalism, who they got to Frankenstein, Chile after overthrowing Salvador Allende. And customer can choose between different services and have financial resources to buy products. So calling a client or someone who gets social welfare, it's wrong. It makes sense. You don't have a choice, you, you know, especially with welfare. People have this attitude, it's like beggars can be choosers. So you don't have the option or the idea of good customer care, even though it's supposed to work just like a business. It doesn't it seems like it's just really, really awful for everyone, but this just makes certain people a lot of money. 
is I, when I moved here, in this city in particular, there can be a lot of anti-homeless movement, and people would say, you know, the non-profit industrial complex, and I would just think that there were some right-wing nutsos. Sometimes right-wing nutsos are right about certain things. Too bad they spend most of the other time being racist, um, hateful, and dance. Um, but there is, it's just like, social work tries to make itself redundant. To help clients help themselves with, with empowerment, ultimately, they just come back. Social work is probably one of the safest career choices. There's nothing wrong against being a social worker. But if you think about the man or whatever, or the profession of pain, and there's always going to be demand for it until there is a system, a less neoliberal system, in which it will be easier and naturally for people to get the things that they need to survive and flourish. I didn't watch zone, <laughs> or maybe I need another explanation, because some is very confusing, or I might need an explanation, so. Neoliberalism is a political thought that emerged late in the 1970s, neos for neoliberalism, as in classical liberalism, which in no time to be the people we advocate in the Enlightenment era for the laissez-faire, um, you know, capitalism, great people. And then Reagan and Thatcher in the 80s, that was their, you know, that's what they loved. They loved it, they loved it, they loved it and they wanted to privatize everything. You want your human rights privatized. You want your food to be privatized. You want your highways, your libraries. The list could go on and on and on and on. And there's something we know is uh, economics. And, and so when you live in a neoliberal society and the the idea is to just make as much money as possible. It doesn't matter if your social worker made you cry. It doesn't matter if, if you went to the doctor and you feel even worse. None of it does. Because the government save money, will get to make money. Private companies will get those juicy contracts. And quality is still not going to be in people's minds. Obviously, the choice is universal health care. But for now, we should fight for quality care. It's not about the bottom line. You're not a number. You're a human and you deserve good treatment.